down here at our landing spots, permanent campground we have down in Illinois. We got the boat and shed. So I have some stuff here I normally don't have out on the road, one of which being the trailer. And I said I hadn't missed anything from having a house, but this is the one thing that I've missed is just being able to smoke something whenever I want to. So we're gonna do some burgers this afternoon and probably do a pork boat tomorrow or Tuesday. Kind of makes all your troubles go away. Take a little ride before the sun goes down. Not half bad on a Tuesday night. We are untethered here at Lake Shelbyville. After a nice Memorial Day weekend with our friends, uh, we missed, and our kiddo, Isaac, we are having a chill day. Everyone else went home, the sun's shining, it's beautiful, we don't have to work today. So we're just gonna paddleboard a little bit and enjoy some sunshine. Cody's getting his fruit on. Breakfast of champions right here. <laughs> 
breakfast, brunch, snack. It's 11 o'clock. I guess it's <laughs> technically lunch. Once you get on the boat, you just start eating it. Not you, me. <laughs> no, I do it too. We've been parked for all of about five minutes and I'm already, already got to have a little snack here before we go out on the paddle boards. <laughs> It's the way it works. As soon as we hit the, I pull it off the trailer, I'm like, oh, I don't know what kind of food we have. Because <laughs> I can't remember what we packed. But we're going to have a nice day today. It's going to be relaxing. The dogs were out the last two days swimming and playing and really enjoyed it. And they're so exhausted that we decided to leave them in the cool camper to rest today without us. And maybe we'll have some mommy, daddy pedal board time too. And we do have the waggles, so we'll know if it starts to get too warm in there or something like that. But water's a little chilly, but the sun's hot, so we're gonna finish up lunch and go do some paddleboarding. And after a couple boat scares, we had some. The boat was doing a lot of things we didn't like. We have a couple things breaking, maybe a little handle here and there. Things that happen over time, especially when you abuse them and use them like we do. We use our equipment, so. Uh, it sounds like maybe the problem isn't as bad as we thought, so that we're just going to be positive. We're going to keep an eye on it and see what steps we need to take next, but it, at least we're on the water, so we're good. <laughs> and the water is about 72 degrees, and we've got about a 15 mile an hour wind. Whoo! I'm cold. This is not what I had in mind. I can't turn it! What you cooking over there? Well, we have some delicious grilled chicken. Just came off the grill. Yeah. Courtesy of Cody. I'm very excited about it. I did cook that. So I'm doing a method that I like to call winging it. <laughs> you take a recipe, you search the pantry, and you wing it. So there's a cilantro lime chicken recipe that I really like. I don't have all the ingredients. I'm not gonna go get all the ingredients because I'm just not that motivated to do it. But I did have some frozen onions and some frozen mangoes. So I defrosted them, chopped them up. Had some cucumber, bell pepper, and some cilantro. And so I just kind of chopped everything up. I had, I did buy a lime last week. And so I'm gonna shred some of this chicken, mix it all together. You can throw it in a taco. You can throw it over some potatoes. You can eat it by itself, rice, whatever. So we're trying to eat a little cleaner. We ate pretty bad last week. So we're trying to make up for all of our bad things that we did. And save some costs from all the eating out we did last yeah. week. I don't know that it calls for oranges, but I just kind of thought it might sound good. 
just made a ridiculous mess. We had all this stuff clean this morning. And I think, like in the cooking shows, to make it authentic, you have to dip your fingers in it, right? Like, yeah. Here's some... <laughs> take some seasoning. you got to put it in with your fingers. Otherwise, it's not real. Nobody just shakes it in there. Now, I do have some seasonings. I don't know what it is, but Isaac actually grew his own herbs um, a while back and dried them. It smells like... This cilantro, so maybe it's maybe I don't need to do more cilantro. <laughs> we'll just add to it. It looks fancy, maybe some rosemary. I don't know what that's gonna You're just do. guessing at this point. The reality is, I do this with about every meal, though. <laughs> some of them work out and some of them don't, but. Most Thank work out. Thankfully, Cody uh, is gracious enough to tell me that it's good and we just keep on rolling. Or he uh, offers to cook. We had a great time at Lake Shelbyville for the past couple of weeks. We have a permanent campground there around Lake Shelbyville that we've had for about eight years and we're using it now as a just a really good landing spot for us. We're going to hang on to that for a while. Really no plans to get rid of that anywhere in the near future. But it kind of topped off our first two weeks of full-time remote work. We've been full-time RV for a couple of months now but this was our first two week stint into the remote working so we got to work during the day and we got to enjoy some different things in the evening golf cart rides and it's kind of nice to land somewhere we knew yeah reassess see yeah if we needed anything before we hit the road again yeah the owners were great and kind of short up our pad a little bit so it's a little easier to get in and out which was really nice we got to take nice golf cart rides in the evening and nice runs out through the countryside in the morning yeah. and of course all the great boating time so I'd say it was a success for the last two weeks, and now it's off to Arkansas for a couple of weeks and try to reconnect with some family and friends. Yay. And we've got some, some plans from there. We're going to do a little more traveling. Uh, in the next couple of months, you'll see some stuff from South Dakota, probably some more Illinois, and, and we're going to get out to North Carolina midsummer. So a lot of good stuff coming. If you haven't had a chance, please go back and check out our previous five videos. We promise we're only going to get better as time goes on. We're still figuring out this editing thing and some interesting camera work. And sitting in front of a camera. <laughs> Needless to say, neither of us have any experience sitting in front of a camera. So we appreciate you guys hanging in there with us. Please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Every chance you get, we can definitely use the views. And we will see you on the next trip.